Hi everyone. Before we start, I want to ask you all a question. Raise your hand if you have ever thought about investing. There's got to be a lot of hands raised, I suppose. But how many of you ended up not investing because of a tight budget? We got great news for you. Invest only six point five dollars today, and you can come back home with several Apple stocks. Sounds tempting? This is the magic of the European call option. Let me use a simple but real example from a data set to explain it. Red owns several Apple stocks with a current market price of four hundred and thirty dollars in total. Blue wants to buy the stocks from Red three months later at a price of four hundred and forty dollars. But in order to purchase the stocks in three months, Blue needs to pay Red six point five dollars as a deposit. After three months on a maturity date, the market price could have two possibilities. If the market price then is higher than four hundred and forty dollars, then Blue will be happy since he can buy the stocks with less money. If the market price is lower than four hundred and forty dollars, Blue might choose not to purchase the stocks because it's more cost efficient to purchase them straight from the market. However, even if Blue decides not to buy from Red, Red can still keep the current option value, which is six point five dollars. Now, another problem arises. How should investors and owners decide the amount of the current option value? Since Blue has the right of the stocks today, we should think S as the value that Blue gets, and K as the value that Blue will pay in the future. With a little common sense, Blue gets more; he should pay more for the option value. And if Blue will pay less in the future, he should also pay more for the option value. Let's take a step further by calculating the present value of K. In that case. Interest rate and time to maturity should also be considered. The higher the annual interest rate and the longer the time to maturity, the less Blue pays today, thus the more option value he should give out. Based on these four variables, we have trained our machine learning models using European call option pricing data on the S and P 500 to make predictions. We introduced Black-Scholes formula, a common practice in solving this problem, into our models as a binary variable to compare with our predictions. We chose machine learning models over Black-Scholes formula because they're impactful in highly dynamic fields such as finance. This financial pricing scheme is non-linear and undergoes a significant amount of calculation to reach a conclusion. However, machine learning models can learn and predict nonlinear behavior fairly accurately and quickly catch the new trends when they show up. Now it's time for some real business.